Both teams back on the ice after the first intermission. Ray Ferraro, James Sabalski ready to bring in the call for period number two. Well, after an intriguing opening period, here we go. It's period number two. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Moves it to Schneider, and that's just out of reach. Jarvis takes the puck. Sends it in on the attack. Indiana's got a hold of it against the wall. Right up the gut, here they go. At center ice now, he grabs the puck. Quick pass to Schneider. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Way too much congestion blocks that. Indiana's looking to break out. Gate, there he is, he's got a step. Stays with it to make the save. Really good patience as he doesn't overreact, but that's a good deep. Guy just doesn't finish it off. Here's a chance, and that banks off a stick. Made the stop on the play. Takes the feed from the left side. Costs it up in the neutral zone. Takes the puck at the point. Well, I'm liking the way they're getting after this shift here, James. Really good effort. Scores! On the rebound, he pops it! I'm not sure if there was any communication on that play at all. Both defensemen end up so far out of position, the slot is wide open, and the shot beats the goalie. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. It's all tied up. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. Assisted by number 26 and by number 30. Sends the pass over. And the linesman calls icing on the play. 31 seconds. The setters will glide into the dot. Minnesota's won the draw. You don't spend much time in your zone if you can win the draw like that. Receives the pass. Dumps it into the Ozone. And play continues here. Let's it go from the slot. He scores! Pretty obvious, James. You play from in front, you've got the advantage of the game. That goal gives them the lead. You've got to get rid of that puck in a hurry from that spot on the ice. You're in the high slot, you're open, but you know everybody's converging on you. Minnesota's been on their heels through most of this one, and yet they lead by one in the second. You can thank their goaltender for a lot of this. He's kept them close, and now they've worked themselves into a position to be in front. Minnesota goal, scored by number And says it just out of reach. Manages to hang on. Through pass ahead. 45 seconds. Moves inside. Pass back to the point. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Past the halfway mark of this period, Minnesota's got a one goal lead. This neutral zone face-off set to go, and we are back underway. Scoops up the puck here. Takes the pass. Along the half wall with the puck. Puts it to the front of the net, and he comes up with the save. Moves the puck. Offside is the call, and we'll have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. I didn't think he'd go to the slapper. It's a good scoring chance. I think that gives the goalie enough time to react to make the save. Indiana's had plenty of good looks offensively, but they have been snaping as they trail late in this second period. Puck is dropped, and we are back underway. Minnesota's got it in their own zone. Steps into the offensive end. Here's a Whoa. shot. Scores! That's two unanswered now. Uh, they stayed right on it. Once they stopped that first one, they just pushed the pace of this. Now they get another. 
This is the default move for the goaltender here. It's like every shot, he drops into the butterfly. He gets beaten clean here. Minnesota's looking to cruise into the intermission with a two-goal cushion. Well, they're feeling a lot better than they were 30 seconds ago. This is a nice spot for them to be in. Handles the puck. Cutting to the slot. Huge stick save by the goaltender. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Fires it on net. Stops him cold. Sends one across. Scores! They are on fire. Yeah, and it's all different sources, too. Score a goal, make a change, get another one. Nothing seems to slow them down. This is a terrific shot. He beats the goaltender, but the goalie gets a chunk of it. Not enough. He can't slow it up. Minnesota's been in simple attack mode all night long. Would you not agree? Yes, and the opponent has no answer. It's like they can't get up to... to take any of the pace away. Sends a pass over. From the right side, they gain the zone. Makes a move in front. And that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone. Play set to resume with the face off ready to go. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. There's the horn ending period number two. Might almost be a mercy rule in some ways. Are you ready for a walk down memory lane? Then it's time to sign up for our fantasy game. Play hockey with childhood heroes. It's a fun-filled week full of memories. Call us for details, or you can visit the team website. And we'll be right back for what should be a very intriguing third.